Hi, I'm Michael from Advent Controls and today we're going to be taking a look at our twin output GSM board. This is great for things like roller shutters and garage doors which have a separate open and close control. In this example, we're controlling a roller shutter with separate dead man inputs for open and close. The first call activates the close relay which stays active whilst the line is ringing. The second call then activates the open relay again for as long as the mobile is ringing the board. The call costs nothing as the call is never answered. To have the board alternate between open and close, we set the call channel to alt. And to keep the relay active whilst ringing, we set the relay mode to ring. Connection to your gate controller is really easy. You can take the power from your gate controller. Here we have a 24 DC volts output and that goes into the positive and ground terminals on the GSM board. Uh, then the common connection goes to the common switch connection for the open and close. Um, for the open relay, which is the hash relay, we connect that to the open terminal on the board and similarly on the close relay, the star relay, we connect that to the close terminal on the gate controller board. Here we've connected the blue LED to the close or star relay and the green LED to the open or hash relay. As you can see, whilst the phone rings out, the relay stays lit and when we call the number for the second time, the other relay stays lit again whilst the line is ringing. We can also operate the relays using the DTMF keys on your phone's keypad. Unfortunately, with most mobile phones, you can't send long tone bursts, so they can't really be used for this operation. Here, we've enabled this mode by sending the connect enable command. We then add our office telephone number to the system using the add command. Then, when we call the board, the call is connected and we can control the star and hash relays using the DTMF keypad on the phone. This is why we call the relays the star and the hash relay. If we only need a single channel activated by a call, we select the channel using the channel command. In this case, we selected the star or close channel. Now, when we ring the board, this relay is activated by our call. By default, the on command will now operate the other channel to the one selected by the call channel command. In this case, the on command switches on the hash relay. We can then switch it off using the off command. We can still operate the star relay by SMS text, but to do this, we must specify which relay by sending the star or hash character with the on or off command. Here, we're specifying the star relay to be active for 10 seconds. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can email me on michael at adventcontrols.co.uk or you can call our office on 0151 728 3167. Thanks very much.